Potato pie. Cool, that's what we're starting with. Anyways. Yeah. Today, it's World of Warships Day. Mainly because Flappy Bird was a little too low graphics. We had to scale it up to like 11. Anyways. Uh, World of Warships, or uncommonly referred to as WoW, was made in 2015 by Wargaming. They also created World of Tanks and World of Warplanes. What? You knew this. No. I, yes, I do, Eli, but I'm pretending to be shocked because <laughs> it's funny. Dramatic effect is lame, man. Oh. Okay. There's also a mobile version, World of Warships Blitz. And for some reason, it's available on console. Might have to look into that. Neither of us own the consoles on which it could be played on. Eli, did, did you not hear the word mobile in your sentence? Yeah, but like... I don't, I don't want to go through that process. That's like pressing three buttons. Okay, continue with your... Uh... Wikipedia spiel. <laughs> it's not... It's not Wikipedia spiel, I promise I did research. Oh yeah. We use... The Encyclopedia. <laughs> Basically, for those of you who don't know this game, it's a bunch of realistic ships from around the around the world and their nations playing capture the flag because that's what warships do in their off time. I mean, they kind of do. It's just like there's not an actual flag. It's like an island. What? No. Do you capture an island? I think it's more of just a body of water. But like in real life, it's cap it's essentially capture the flag. It's just more complex. Uh, but anyways, continue. But they they've got a lot of they were nominated for a lot of awards and they won a lot of them. Uh, yeah, that's that's the game. Yeah. Now to ramble off into nothingness. Yeah, I mean I'm about to explode. So that's neat. Oh, I exploded. But the only negative we have about this game is that the XP system to get new boats is, like, so confusing. <laughs> we did the math on it. Um, let me go find it. So, for the Japanese ships, because that's what we base a lot of the things on. Japan for the win! But also, like, it's really hard to tell what XP goes for what, because, like, it doesn't make sense. Because it doesn't have a number that tells you what you have. That, that is true. There's there's a uh, global XP that can be used between any, but that's the only visible XP marker. Unless we're idiots, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's the fact that we're just well, idiots. Even if it's not, it's really hidden. So, uh, what are your what are you, what's, what's your experience with the game? Uh, it's pretty good, but. The XP system makes no sense, and it's really confusing, and I don't like it. Okay, but aside from that, unlike Flappy Bird, how you play three games, how many hours have you played of World of Warships? At in, least... Wait, in the, past, in the past week? At least 26, maybe. I don't know. Probably more like 14. Mm, that's a big number, gap. At least three. I, I don't really like, keep track of this stuff, and there's also no thing that tells you, but... Math. Alright. Anyways. I like how all of the ships are... ships, <laughs> if that makes sense. They're very, unique. Very unique and interesting ship design. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's some that look like exactly the same to each other, just as like one more cannon, but that's not important. That's that's literally boats in real life, though. That's I mean, just, yeah. That's just how boats work. I mean, they are probably based on real boats. I don't know. They, they are. They are all based on real boats. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we've established that. Alright, uh, should I play as a level 4 or 5? Oh, okay. In the game, there are cruisers, destroyers, battleships, and aircraft carriers. 
my personal favorite. There's also submarines, but I don't entirely know how they work, and Adam barely knows how they work. They go underwater. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> As aircraft carriers, their name implies they carry aircrafts. Battleships are just really big and have a lot of guns. Cruisers. And they battle. Yo. Cruisers are like, yeah, no, normal, I guess. They're base stat everything. And then destroyers are fast. Like, really fast. But they're squishier than marshmallows. Yeah, that's why you play with them, right? No, I, I play with them because you have to get, like, max out almost all the cruisers to get to the airships. Aircraft carriers. All the cruisers? What? What? Destroyers, sorry. Get, Eli, get your WoW lore down. No, World of Warcraft lore is hard. I mean, it's just called history. <laughs> it's very weird that it's World of Warcraft, and then World of Warships, and then World of Warplanes. There's like three games that are oh wow. Planes? The plain one would be WAP. Not WoW. Oh wait, Warplane. Yeah, Warplane is one word. Your entire, it's, your entire life is gonna lie. It's the WoW franchise. But, but they're not even made by the same people. World of Warcraft is made by Blizzard. World of Warships is by... Uh... Wargame? I don't remember who we said it was by. I mean, two of the three, so like, that's close enough. Alright, uh, Eli, who, who are you playing as? Uh, I'm currently playing as the... I'm currently playing as... Let me do my shit, please. Oh, I'm playing as the V-170, which is a destroyer. I am playing... playing I am playing as the Kuma. <laughs> it's like Kuma <laughs> with a K. In World of uh, World of Warships, there are occasionally four to two to four points where you have to capture. And naturally, we suck at the game, so there's a lot of red on the on the field at like all times. Yes, that's why it took me like 14 hours to get one ship, which I thought I was only gonna get one because I thought all the XP was the same. But no, apparently you get different XP for different ships. It's so gosh darn confusing. I'm sorry. I don't like it, you hate the, hate the XP system, but like... Please. And of course, to make it even more complicated, there's also coins for some reason. Those are called doubloons. Get, get your World of Warships lore correct. Also torpedoes. I like torpedoes. Yeah, you get hit by them like... Every 10 seconds. L l listen. Torpedoes. Unlike me, you're not a pro gamer. Adam, how many torpedoes do you av on average hit a game? No, it's how many I don't die from that matter. How many don't you die from? Like a solid three. Wow. Here, Inf watch this. Influential numbers. Watch this, Eli. I'm gonna hit this guy first try. Oh, I'm about to actually, actually hit that guy with one of my torpedoes. What are we gonna do when we play a game that, uh, we can't play while we're recording? How are we gonna entertain ourselves? I don't know, this is a pretty intense game. I'm not gonna say we blew up. Um, that's because only too. I blew up. But that's actually tactical, so now I can look up the if there's such thing as a World of Warship speedrun. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny if there was. Yo, yo, I'm about to get this nerd with torpedoes. 
Or if we're gonna get extreme lag. Okay, it does exist, so let's go to speedrun.com. No, don't back up. Oh, I'm about to explode on the Yep. Yo. Eli? Adam. Oh, I just hit them with a torpedo, but they didn't die, so only one hit. Big bad. There are no technical speedruns on speedrun.com for World of Warships. That's unfortunate. But you know what there probably is? What? Competitive. There we I go. mean, there's... There's rank. Well, I mean, like, if there was a tournament. Oh. Uh, Are you gonna enter into this? Even, there is no comp competitive championship. Wait, what? There's so much data I'm looking at. Okay, never mind. Hey, you should totally put push ready. Give me a second, let me read how the, how the championship works. Basically, competitions run from the first of the month until the last day of the month. Then, you select- Then, the people at Ubisoft select two ships, one for base XP and one for damage. Then they update the leaderboards weekly, but they only show the XP to get into the top 20. At the end of the month, they announce the winners on the site- uh, on their site Twitter. And then we... They... Wait. Uh, they distribute prizes. Now, I have a question. I do too, so, uh... Hey, do you want... You can do your question first. Oh, never mind. You're allowed to pick a ship. Well, my question is... Is... How are you supposed to know if you're winning or not? Because it's impossible to tell how much XP you have. <laughs> no, because there's a leaderboard for damage. Oh. Yeah, so you just pick two ships, and that's what you play competitively. First place gets a unique gold badge in-game, and they get a premium ship. Second place gets a silver badge. That makes sense. And they receive a, in their words, heap of doubloons. Heap. And then third place will receive credits in a in a bronze. But there's also a participation award. Oh, they do pick ships, never mind. Uh, this month's ships are the VII uh, Z23, which I'm pretty sure is a German ship. And then the damage ship is the VII Baltimore. Well, that's unfortunate because I only have things in Japan. <laughs> I started playing the game like a week ago. Two weeks ago? I don't know. I'm play as a destroyer. I haven't played as a destroyer for a while. I would say destroyers are fun, but like they're not really that fun. <laughs> we die like immediately. We should just not rush into this and wait for everyone else. That's a good plan. Yeah, I, I see. I, I've, from my experience, it usually goes better, but, like, I'm patient, so I do it anyways. This map is called, uh... Big Race. Is it a big race? Or is it a small race? I'm pretty sure it's a big one. This is a dumb joke. Yeah. Alright, Eli, do you think we're gonna be able to do anything impressive? No. We were spawned in the middle. <laughs> Alright, I'm only gonna go at half speed. Fine. What else speed can we talk about? Here? The water. Um the water is terrifying. You're like it's so it's so like actual watery. It sure is, Eli. Yeah, the, 
the game is stupid realistic, like, the speed at which things turn and change speeds at, the scenery, the fact that a ship can catch on fire. It's also weird how shots take time to travel. Like, I know it makes sense, but it doesn't change the fact that it's weird. I, I'm pretty sure that's how it works in real life. I don't think they just, like, you know, teleport. <laughs> well, yeah, I think that term is hit scanning. The what now? It's where you can aim at something, press the left mouse button, and it immediately hits. Like okay, this has to do from some other games, I've never heard of that. That's like any competitive shooter. Any shooter in general. Unless it's not hit scanning, in that case it generally doesn't have that term. Interesting. Watch out, they've got like 10 destroyers. Oh, this guy didn't see it coming. Oh, I got someone! I got someone, Eli! Good job! Wait, why did I- I did not use all my torpedoes. Okay, should I ram this guy? No. Because I'm about to torpedo him. He's gonna- he's gonna completely weave that, isn't he? No, I think he just missed. <laughs> they don't need to know that. Watch out, this could be this. Oh, I see it. Yeah, so we're we're competitive gamers. Yes, we only missed half the time. I actually did it. The torpedoes like ate him. Nom nom. <laughs> Alright. You're on your own, Eli. Adam, what'd you do? Uh, you see, they have cannons. We also have cannons. Yeah, but their cannons were better, and there's also three of them. That is true. I'm not gonna run away. Oh, maybe. You feel? You, you see what I'm talking about? Yep. I mean, we're winning. Go us. Not for long. Oh, we're no longer winning, Eli. How are they predicting my predictable movements? No! This is impossible. Hey, there's a battle, I mean, cruiser right in front of you. There was. I think it's still there. Okay, it's gone. There was. <laughs> <laughs> like Boat John Wick. Hey, there's the person in front of you. I just hit Good. them. Ah. You never know, Eli. Okay, I am just blind. Boy, they missed all those torpedoes. Oh, I'm dead. That's that's upsetting. Yeah, it is. Just curious, how much XP till you get the? Aircraft carrier. Let me check.
8,000. That's just a few wins. Alright, Eli, I know how we can get you more wins. Oh. You guys are level 4, right? Yes. This will take a little bit longer, but we should have the advantage. Well, I'll have the advantage. You gonna play a level 3 ship? No, 5. Oh. But you know what how Roman numerals work, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I just didn't know, because if you played a level 3 ship, then we'd be forced to fight level 3 people while I have a level 4 ship. Because that's well, how the still part thing works. There'd still be some level 4s. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's too much to ask. Now you're only gonna be able against people the same or better than your skill level. See, that's more reasonable to ask. Yes. Oh yeah, that's this is this is why we weren't I wasn't playing as fives earlier. <laughs> that that is another bad part about the game. The wait time does kinda just suck if you're playing in a division and you have two different level ships. Alright. Anyway, I'll be right back. Alright. This part is gonna get cut out. Yeah. Most likely. If not, I'm gonna look really stupid. Yeah. Alright, I'm doing aircraft carrier. Okay. This should go horribly Wait. well. Okay, I was about to say, we, we've won a few times while you used aircraft carrier strats. So, considering you're the leading expert on aircraft carriers, you should explain, in your own words, <laughs> how they work. Planes go on boat. Planes go off a boat. Planes blow stuff up. Planes go back to boat. Repeat. Thank you. You're welcome. Even my dog is thanking you. I am very well with my words. Good with my words. Words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that didn't happen. Oh, game starting. Only Yo. two minutes of wait time? I mean, I had to wait like three minutes for one game one. Wasn't there a time we waited a solid five minutes for a game? No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there might have been. There might have been. I don't have that good of memory, but I don't think so. Uh, I take it the game plan is you're gonna spot on the flank. I'm just gonna I'm hide just... behind this island and take everyone back to uh destructions. But you know. Yeah, the thing with aircraft is the only way is to destroy people is to just take other people's kill right before they're able to defeat them. Maybe like, yo, I did that. <laughs> Don't you, uh, when you're playing aircraft carriers, circulate around the maps, like the edge of it, so no one gets it? You either go around the edge or hide behind. We're gonna go island not this time. Is it because there's like a this little thing next to the map that goes for No, I just felt like hiding behind an island. Okay. Cool thing about um, destroyers is they actually drop smoke so you can hide in it. You can be a little campy boy. I mean, the smoke goes away after like 30 seconds, but yeah! Yeah. 
not being able to be targeted for like 30 seconds is kind of great. Yeah. Like three aircraft carriers. I'm pretty sure there's like two, but yeah. Like is an estimate. Okay, there is exactly two. Thank you. I actually gotta turn around. Because like, I'm not gonna say like a lot of them over there because there is a lot of them over there. I mean, there, it is their circle. What? You mean we're supposed to stay at our base camp? Eh. Why is their range so high? That would be a battleship, my friend. Yeah, English. How to English. Step one. Get some tea. Step two. Say chop chop cheerio. Step three. No, 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 Eli. Probably that's something that's, to do with the queen. That's British, silly. The British are English. No, they speak British. Alright. That was a nice kill. Yeah. I did something. Wow. How are you? How are you? Hit that. How are you doing, Eli? I'm having a day. No, not about your day, like in the game. to sink this guy. Yo. Too bad I do like 100 damage to him at a time. Uh, he had torpedoes. I'm so upset. I'm so, I wasn't paying attention. Bad game, 0 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Eli, that goes against my religion. I'm gonna have to take, ask you to take that back. <laughs> um, yes, there's a... Let me see where he is on map-wise. Oh, he died. I was gonna spot him for you, but then you brutally murdered him. Wait, I got someone? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Oh, why'd you Did show them a kill for you? That was a while ago. No, it just showed up. I haven't gotten something yet. Okay. You probably don't. I mean, I just tried to hit someone, and if that torpedo did hit, it would have destroyed them. So I was like, wait a second, did I? This ship I'm is not the, sure anymore, Eli. This ship is the Konig Konigsberg, which I, who can definitely fluently speak German, uh, can say with a bit of a shadow of a doubt that translates to the kingship. So why is it dying? <laughs> Nicholas. It's like How do you spell it? What? Yeah, you know, I've only sunk a uh, battleship and but the one I just went for was a destroyer, not the We are winning though, that is a nice touch. You know, that's my favorite experience in this game. What? With not losing. <laughs> is there an experience in a game where losing is fun? Well, no, it's just in other games that doesn't happen a lot. <laughs> yeah, we suck at video games. <laughs> That's why we're just critiquing them. <laughs> I was gonna say we shouldn't really like commentate on it because we suck, but like, yeah. Those who can't teach, right? And those who can't teach end up like. 
talking about it on YouTube. Yeah, Eli, this metaphor went down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said that, uh -oh. that metaphor that metaphor sank like a ship and it would have been a pun and it would have been funny. Oh. Uh, well, guess what? We have editing. Okay, just say it again then. Eli, that metaphor sank like a ship. Okay. Let's keep that in. <laughs> I'm gonna proceed to not edit that. Let's go. <laughs> yes, comedy! <laughs> <laughs> Quick, pull up, pull up, pull down, pull down, go! Go, go, go! Go now! Yeah, yeah, you we have a small flying, problem. You suck at flying planes. What do you mean? Well, two of them are on fire. Well, Eli, I have a question for you. Of the two of us, which of us actually has planes? In real life, neither of us. That, that is true. Or is it? <laughs> I'm just above your house. Hi, Eli! <laughs> Man, how is there a plane stationary above my house? That shouldn't happen. They have to be in constant motion. <laughs> I am in a constant motion down. <laughs> ah, nifty. <laughs> See this guy trapped against this wall? Uh, no, hold on. Yes. The invisible barrier that is the map border. I mean, it's a white line, it's not really that invisible. Just saying. Yes, but for realism, is the ocean just constantly divided up into white squares? And like, you accidentally get stuck if your ship tries to fall, and swim out of it. Like, no. Yeah. It's... What if you try and retreat in war? It's called the Bermuda Triangle, Eli. The Bermuda Triangle can't be on four sides of a square. It's the Swahili Square instead of the Bermuda Triangle. The <laughs> Swahili Square. <laughs> What's our outro? The Swahili Square. <laughs> Swa <laughs> wow, that, that was that was a, that was a nice time out at sea. We will not be doing that again anytime soon. Uh, if you liked our boat Uber, rate us five stars on not Uber. Anyways, if you wanna. If you want to see more of what I do, maybe I'll actually do something with the Lagundo channel. If you want to see more of Adam, you, we'll be back in three weeks. Suck it up.